So if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for joining us. We're gonna do this warm up. It is four rounds long and there are four movements. We're gonna do each one for 20 seconds. So we'll just go back to back to back. Um, it's gonna be bootstrappers, alternating Samson lunges, plank jacks, and then a reverse plank with a knee drive. So just real quick review of those four movements. Bootstrappers, I'm starting the bottom of a squat, grabbing my toes and then bringing my hips up as far as I can, just like that. Uh, then alternating Samson lunges are just alternating lunges like, like you would normally, but I'm gonna be doing a Samson stretch while I do them. And what that is, is I'm interlocking my fingers and then turning my palms toward the ceiling and then trying to keep my palms facing upward the whole time. Um, plank jacks. I'm starting in a push-up plank position and then hopping my feet out and then back in, just like that. And then the reverse plank with knee drive, one of my faves. I'm going to pop up into a reverse plank, just like this, and then I'm gonna drive one knee up and then alternate, just like that. So we're gonna go for 20 seconds on each one. Um, it is just a warm up, so maybe you need to go for 15 seconds and rest for a little bit in between. That's all good. No sweat. I mean, you probably will sweat, but don't worry about it. Okay, gonna start with 20 seconds of bootstrappers. Let's go in eight seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. And this is just a warm up, so. Find a good pace, something that feels right. We're already halfway through the bootstrappers. Okay, alternating Samson lunges in two, one, here we go. Interlock those palms. work. Three, two, one, plank jacks. Nice job. Five seconds. Three, two, one, reverse plank with a knee drive. Just alternating. Ooh, this one's tough. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Back to bootstrappers. Three, two, one, the alternating Samson lunges. I'm getting warm. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, plank jacks. There you go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Reverse plank with knee drag. Here we go. Going back to bootstrappers in two, one. Here we go. Two more rounds of this. Doing great. Three, two, one. Samson lunges. Ten 
10 seconds. Three, two, one, play jazz. Three, two, one, reverse plank with a knee drive. Three, two, one, last round, bootstrappers. There we go. Three, two, one, Samson lunges. Reaching tall. And plank jacks. Doing great. Three, two, one. Reverse plank with knee drive. And then, and then we out of here. Nice job. Looks good, everyone. And rest. Wow. It is so humid in this room. It's, it's kind of wild. No wonder the floor feels wet. Um, OK. Today, for string, we're going to be doing some side lunges. Um, we'll go over those. These can be weighted or body weight. The main thing I want you to focus on is choosing whatever option lets you get the most range of motion. So if it's, um, if it's a choice between a full range of motion with no weight uh, versus half a range of motion with some weight, that first option is the better one. And um, just in terms of like training, um, I promise that's the better choice. That's the one that's gonna give you the gains that you're after. So that's just something to keep in mind. So um, side lunges, we lunge forward and backward a lot. We don't lunge to the side super often. So <clears throat> these will be pretty potent, um, just something to keep in mind. So without any assistance, what I'm doing for a side lunge is I'm starting with a nice big wide stance, and then I'm just gonna sink down to the side on one side. You'll see I adjusted my stance there, and then back up. So you'll see my foot is staying flat the whole time. This foot, can do whatever. Um, I like to keep it flat. Some people like to roll off to the side like that. When you do that, this is technically a Cossack squat, but essentially they're the same. So I'm coming down as low as I can, and then back up. Let's all try a few of those, just to kind of gauge where we're at, and then I'll show you some uh, scaling options. So, um, like I said, I want you to try and go as low as you can while keeping your foot flat. Um, if you feel like as you go down, your foot doesn't stay flat, or maybe in order to do that, like you can get to like 
here before you start kind of rolling up onto your toe. Um, a good way to scale these is to assist by putting your hand on something like the back of a couch, back of a chair. Um, I could do like a ring here. So now this lets me get nice and low and I'm kind of fixing any uh, forward or backward balance issues by holding onto this. And then to come back up, I'm just pulling on it very lightly, but I'm letting my legs do most of the work. Similarly, like pulling on to something here, that's too high. A rig like that to kind of help me um, pull myself up, but I'm still, I'm getting that full range of motion. So that is absolutely an option too. Um, don't be afraid to use some assistance. We want to get uh, as deep into like hip and knee flexion as we can, as long as it's comfortable. Um, and then the final, if the side lunges just don't feel good, no matter what type of assistance you do, we can do just a regular weighted lunge, stepping forward, just like that. So um, if you are going to weight them, you can hold the weight however you like. Goblet style is pretty popular. Um, I even sometimes like to throw a dumbbell on my back, like back squat style. Um, if you want to do either way, that's just fine. Or if you're going to do body weight, that's cool too. Um, what we're going to do is six sets, eight on each side. So we'll do eight on one side, eight on the other. At least that's how I'm going to do it. If you want to alternate each rep, that's all good. Um, I'm gonna be counting. If my pace doesn't match yours, don't worry about it. Um, does anyone have any questions on the side lunge? Okay. I'm just gonna start this up just as a, a rest gauge, but um, let's do our first set. Uh, I'm gonna, all right. Everyone ready? Let's go in three, two, one, first side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks great, everyone. Other side. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Good stuff. We'll rest about a minute. Looks pretty good. Nice job, everyone. If you feel stronger on one side or more mobile on one side, that is pretty normal. So there's nothing wrong with that. Don't mind me. <clears throat> All right, let's do our next set. Right, throw this weight up on my back. All right, let's go in. Three, two, one, first side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Next side. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. It's a little bit tougher than the last one. Nice work, everyone. We'll go to the clock says 4.30. Spot that I dried off is wet again. It's like the floor is sweating. What are you gonna do? So weird. About 20 seconds left. <clears throat> All right, set number three. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next side in three, two, one. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rest about a minute. Minutes feeling pretty good. We'll go at 6.30. Okay, minute is feeling shorter and shorter. All right, set number four. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mix side in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. job. Two more sets. We'll rest about a minute or so. 
We'll go at 840 on the clock. seconds. All right, let's go in three, two, one, set number five. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Next side, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Who? Good stuff. Feeling the burn. We have one more set. We'll go to like eight forty or excuse me, ten forty-five on the clock. wobble in the elvis legs. I guess you could say I'm all shook up. 30 seconds. Seven, eight, next side, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. Wow. Okay. Works for me. Great job, everyone. So today's workout is going to be 15 minutes long, technically 16, but it ends in a minute of rest. So um, what it is, is there's going to be four rounds. Every round is three movements and rest. So it's going to be a minute of plate hops. I'll show you those. A minute of Turkish sit-ups, not get-ups. I'll show you those. A minute of American swings, and then a minute of rest. So each of those minutes is your time to fill with as many reps or as few reps as you want. I always like to set a goal maybe like my first minute, 
I'm going to establish a baseline and then I'm going to try to hit those same numbers every time. Or another approach is to just do reps, not worry about the number, and just get through the work, feeling good that you're working out. So um, one minute of plate hops, one minute of Turkish sit-ups, one minute American swings, one minute rest. We're going to do that four times. So let's talk about these um, for the plate hops. If you have a weight plate, you can use that. You, have, you don't need one. But um, I'm going to demonstrate with one. Um, so I've got a plate on the ground, just something uh, real short. You can actually do this without a plate. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start on the plate, and then I'm going to jump my feet to the sides, and then back. So at speed, just like that. So um, you could do that without a plate. Um, but you'll notice without a plate, it's very similar to a jumping jack. So jumping jack is a substitution. You could jump rope. You could do lateral hops, just like that. Um, those are all options. And then um, you could even do, if maybe you can't hop so much in your place, you could set an item up and do toe taps as, uh, as quickly as you can in succession. So let's, let's try a few of whatever we plan to do during the workout, just so you got a feel for it. So that first minute aren't the first one we've done today. Everyone I can see so far looks great. Awesome. Cool. All right. Looks good. Um, and then one thing to throw out there for any of these, maybe a minute, like a minute of plate hops, especially on round three and four, it's going to feel like a lot. So you got to take a second to catch your breath. That's all good. Don't feel like you have to go for a minute unbroken. Um, next movement is the Turkish sit up. So I've got a weighted item. I'm going to use a kettlebell for this. Um, you can use a kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever works for you. And how a Turkish sit up works is I'm going to start on my back with my weight extended, and then I want to sit up holding my weight up overhead. So with the kettlebell, I'm extending and then sitting up like that. You can have your legs bent. I actually like the feeling of this with my legs straight a little bit more. And maybe, um, maybe you've only got one weight and it feels like a little bit too much, then we can sub with either just regular sit-ups or um, sit-ups with no weight, but your arms are just extended like that. So if you haven't tried a few, let's try uh, just like three or four, whatever we're going to do in the workout. These typically feel slower than regular sit-ups. So don't feel like you need to keep your typical sit-up pace with these. These are a lot tougher. Cool. Looks great. Okay. <clears throat> awesome. Okay, then the last minute, or the third minute, excuse me, is gonna be American swings. So you can do those with a dumbbell or a kettlebell. With a kettlebell, I'm starting with it just out in front of me, kind of getting in a tripod formation with my feet. I'm gonna pull it high into the pocket. So my outer wrist is going as high in my inner thigh as I can. And then I'm gonna stand up aggressively and bring the kettlebell all the way overhead. So at the top, I'm in this position. If you don't have room for that, then we can do Russian swings just up to our sight line. 
That's a totally good substitution. Um, if you're doing a dumbbell, I like to put both hands on the handle and then I can perform them like that. If you have a good grip, you can also hold it by one end, just like that. Gives it a little more length, might feel a little more like a kettlebell. Um, so all good options. Let's try a few if you haven't. Cool. All right. Okay, I think we're ready. So four rounds. One round is a minute of plate hops, minute of Turkish sit-ups, a minute of American swings, minute of rest. Boom, easy. Okay. Everyone ready? Thumbs up, cool. All right, I've got 16 minutes on the clock. Start to the minute of plate hops. Let's start in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. Oh no, I'm tired already. Nice job, everyone. Woo! Here we go, 20 seconds. Nice work, five seconds, three, two, one, into the turkey steps. Here we go. 30 seconds, doing great. Looks good. Almost there. Rest is coming up in five, three, two, one. All right, let's rest. One down. Nice job.
30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. You got to break things up into like sets of ten seconds, five seconds of rest, something like that. That's great. Let's go next round in three, two, one. Plate hops or whatever your hop is. Nice steady pace. Ten more seconds. Great job. Turkish slit ups coming up in three, two, one. Let's get it. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Almost there. Five, three, two, one. Rest. Nice job. Halfway through it. My glasses are fogging up. Auga. Pretty good. On that last round, I did 10 seconds of plate hops, alternating with five seconds of toe taps. Felt fantastic. And I didn't get a cramp in my calf. All right, 10 seconds of rest. Round number three, it's gonna be the best round. Three, two, one, here we go, hops. There we go, nice job everyone. Yeah. Here 
we go. 15 seconds. All right. Three, two, one. Turn your sit-ups. Nice job, 20 seconds. Go, 20 seconds. seconds. <sighs> One more round left. Coming up in 10 seconds. It's going to be the second best round. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hot. Last one. Nice job. Here we go. Nice work, 15 seconds.
we are. In 10 more seconds. Then our last round of swings. Five, three, two, one. Here we go, one more minute. seconds. Here we go. A few more reps. Three, two, one. Time. Or I guess technically we got a minute of rest before we're truly off the hook. Nice job everyone. Okay, so today if you want a little something for mobility, it's Perched Eagle, um, which is going to stretch hopefully our quads a little bit. I know mine will. <clears throat> So, starts with the perch. I'm on my toes. You might get a little more stretch if you're not on your toes. It's something you can experiment with. Everyone's a little bit different. And then the eagle part is eagle arms, which I actually can't do, but if you look at Heather's screen, she's really good at it. So, combining that perch with that eagle, this is my eagle, it's just an X. But, um, I like to do this good old fashioned stretch instead. Have a good one, Jennifer. So we'll hang out a little bit, whatever feels good, I'll keep this clock running again. Switch arms as needed. today, everyone. A solid showing. Thanks, Derek. Have a good one. Derek. Thanks, Derek. Bye, Derek. everybody. Thanks for coming, everyone. Thanks for the swim lesson, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, buddy. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Have a great yeah. day.